Well, let, uh, let's talk about it. There's a lot going on the next couple of days, a lot of rain, storms, uh, heavy rain possibly. So for this morning, we got a few isolated showers out there. Uh, for the rest of the morning commute. Uh, there'll be a few showers. 70% chance of rain this afternoon, late into the evening. 90% chance of rain Thursday. So a lot of rain, storms Thursday. Friday morning, a lot of rain, but then finally ending there by Friday afternoon. Things drying out for a time. So here is the latest weather map. We've got three things going on. It's one, two, three in a row. Today, we've got a cold front that'll move in and cool down our temps. Tomorrow, this warm front will lift back north as a uh, front and, and warm things up. And then a cold front back to the west will cool things down big time as we go into the weekend. And with all this active weather, there'll be rain and storms with it. So right now, temperatures are in the 60s. We've got colder air to the north. Look at that, 39 in New York. That's where our cool down is coming from today. So let's track that, the temperatures first. Here it is this morning, upper 50s, low 60s. I think we'll be in the 60s, pretty solid actually. But at noon, temperatures falling to the 50s. And then we get into the afternoon and upper 40s to around 50 degrees. And that really depends on where the front's going to land. We'll be warmer down in the south, but uh, yeah, definitely it'll be a little chilly in there between the eastern shore, maybe the peninsula, and the north end of Virginia Beach. Now we go into tonight, temperatures start warming up again. The warm front lifts north. So tomorrow in the afternoon, highs in the upper 60s, maybe even a couple 70s south. So get ready for some top sea turvy temperatures. Say that three times in a row. Let's take a look at it. We've got some scattered showers out there. Uh, across the region. So right now across the Outer Banks on the south end, Rodanthe, Hatteras, you've got some scattered showers. In here towards Elizabeth City, some scattered showers back over to uh, Gatesville and Belvedere, South Mills, a little bit east of Curatuck, and that's all moving east. Up at Chesapeake we go. We got some scattered showers around Grassfield, and uh, those extend all the way over to Virginia Beach, so they'll go over into the uh, Red Mill area and a little bit towards uh, Sandbridge. We've got some more into Norfolk now, and that goes up uh, just up to the airport and extends down to Ghent, and it's moving to the east. Hampton, Bacosin, quiet. Williamsburg, quiet. Gloucester, though, you're seeing some showers, mostly north of the courthouse up towards Dutton. That goes into Amberg and Matthews County, seeing a few showers. Reedville to Accomack County. A lot of rain around Accomack County now. Melfa up to Chincoteague, moving to the east. So Future Track has scattered showers for this morning. We uh, might let up a little bit around noon, but I think there'll still be showers. That front's in here, by the way. So there's going to be scattered showers, I think, between noon and 3, but our model definitely picks it up between 3 and 6. Northeast winds, cooling temperatures. Overnight, the warm front lifts up, and so we get more scattered showers late. There's 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, more scattered showers, and then a lot of rain. Here's noon, maybe some heavy rain and thunderstorms already. If we don't get it at that time, here's 3 o'clock, and then another round of heavy rain and storms late Thursday evening, going into Friday morning. That'll be the last of it Friday morning, but boy, it's going to be active till then. We could see a couple of inches of rain, two, three, maybe four inches of rain. That could cause some flooding out there. Right now, it looks like the heaviest rains from the peninsula north. This could easily drop south a little bit. And to top it off, tomorrow we've got a slight risk for severe weather for North Carolina up to the south side, marginal risk for the peninsula northward. So we'll be outlining that throughout the day and going into tomorrow. Today's forecast, remember, temps in the 60s this morning. We're in the upper 40s, low 50s this afternoon, scattered showers. Tomorrow, 68 degrees for a high. 60 on Friday, rain in the morning, dry in the afternoon, and then Saturday, 49 degrees. Most of the days dry, and uh, maybe just a stray shower late. That's the latest forecast that I have now. Madison's in with traffic.